Hey YouTube, just a real quick video on how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G on 4.0. Um, this will basically show you how to update and get multitasking and background images that aren't on the default 4.0 firmware. And so here we go. First thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you're on 4.0. Right now I'm on 3.0.3 and the update just came out by Apple just today on the 21st and I'm going to go ahead and update that and I'll resume the video when I'm done. Alright, while it's updating, just to clarify on a couple things, this will only jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G and your iPhone 3G. Anything else will not work and you can break it if you try this. Also, on your iPhone 3G, if you're hoping to unlock, this will not unlock it. It will only update it. So if you have a 5.12.01 baseband, it's okay to do this because there's no hope of unlocking it anyway unless you have an old bootloader. So that's just to clarify upon that. Alright, now my iPhone has booted up with 4.0 and I need to wait for iTunes to activate it real quick. In the meantime, you should go ahead and download the links in the description and drag them out on your desktop, the beta iPhone firmware and Red Snow. Alright, there we go, iPhone is activated and as you can see, I'm on 4.0. I'm ah, back up. Alright, I'm gonna come back real quick. Alright, now we're back on 4.0, and you can see that it is 4.0, the calculator icons change. The bad thing is, you can't enable multitasking or background images, and I'm gonna show you how to do that all while jailbreaking. So, we're gonna go back to our desktop where you drag the downloaded files to, and double click Red Snow, and open up the subfolder, and drag out Red Snow to the desktop. I just wait for that to copy it. And here it is up here. Now I'm going to click right click it and press run as administrator. And go ahead and press OK. And you get this. So now you're going to browse to your desktop and find that beta firmware 4.0 and select it and it'll process it a little bit. I personally think 4.0 is a lot faster than the previous 3.3. It's actually pretty cool, especially when you got multitasking. All right, IPSW successfully identified. Click Next. And wait for that. All right, now you get these options. You're going to get Install Cydia, Provost Boot. Ignore those. I mean, Install Cydia, but all of these will be checked. Enable multitasking, home screen wallpaper, enable battery percentage, and that's pretty cool. So you go ahead and press, press next, and it'll tell you that your iPhone has to be shut off for the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down my iPhone. All right. Now, the moment I click next, you're going to want to hold down the power button and the home button at the same time but actually I think it's the power button first for three seconds so here we go power button three seconds three two one home button ten nine eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and hold the home button twenty nine twenty eight it actually doesn't matter you just wait until your computer recognizes it Alright, there we go. Now we should start seeing something appear on our iPhone. There we go. And there you go, jailbreaking. Um, yeah, I'm on Windows 7. It doesn't really matter if you can be on Windows. There's also uh, Jailbreak for Mac. I'll include that in the description. 
So you're done on the computer. You can click finish if you want. Just leave that open if you don't. I'm going to click finish and just unplug it. Now it's all up to your iPhone. Now I'm going to keep this on so you can see how your iPhone should be acting. So no surprises there. If you don't want to wait for this, just go ahead and skip forward in the video. But I'm going to keep this up for the new guys who are new to jailbreaking and just need to know what's going on. I actually got my iPhone 3GS right here and I'm pretty disappointed because there's a jailbreak but it's only for Mac and there's certain circumstances that have to happen. You have to be on 3.1.2 and you are you have to have an old bootloader so not going to happen for me. So I'm waiting for the jailbreak video to come out or the jailbreak and I'll post a video on YouTube about it. Alright so here we go. It should be rebooting now. And we should have a jailbroken iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G on 4.0. Alright, now I'm on OS 4.0. And you can tell that it's jailbroken because there's a white city right there. And Red Snow definitely worked. I have a background image. And you double click. And there's multitasking. So basically that's it. That's how you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G on 4.0. Thanks for watching guys, I have a lot of videos on installing free games, lots of stuff in my videos, so check that out, and don't forget to rate or comment, and please subscribe, thanks YouTube, have fun.